Hello everybody, my name is Israel Aziraga. You can call me Mr. L. Uh, I'll be playing for you um, your parts for the double bass uh, for your intermediate honor orchestra music. We're gonna start with Hiawatha and then we're gonna work our way down. First, I'm gonna play Hiawatha all the way through. Then we're gonna go back to the beginning and take it apart bit by bit. Okay, I'll give you pointers, things to look at, etc. Okay, so here's, here's Hiawatha. Two. That's the whole thing. So, and at the beginning, going back to the beginning, the beginning is similar to 37. Uh, so, so what I say at the beginning applies also later on. Okay, so for, for this opening, we're not the only ones playing, thankfully. Uh, so you don't have to go crazy on your instrument and you don't have to use that much, but you, you, don't, have, you don't have to use your elbow like. Not a lot, don't want that, okay. So, 
you want to feel uh, your bow pulling at the string before you play so you have a nice clean attack. Um, how do we do that? You need to pretend that, you, that your hand is hanging from your bow and excuse me, your arm from your bow and holding it from your hand. Uh, so if we were to take the bow away, your hand would just fall. So you need to pretend, so when you're at home, try that, try that feeling. And then you need to pretend that you're hanging your hand from your bow on the string. Okay? So that way when we pull across, your bow is in the string, not on it, on top. You want it inside the string, almost. Okay, so when we initially play, you're gonna pull the string sideways. Check it out. So I'm just gonna pull the string and I don't know if you can, yeah, you can see the bass moving there. I'm not moving in with this hand right here. So it's just the bow gripping the string. Then it's just gonna release on its own. You can practice that at home. Um, of course your bass isn't, isn't gonna be moving that much because um, it's gonna be against you. But that's the feeling you want, okay? Um, and your rhythm at the beginning is going to be down, pony, up, pony, down, pony, up, pony. You want those staccato notes, the ones with the dots on top. You want it to be super short. It's going to be long. So your bow is going to be long, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short. Again, don't use your whole bow. You just maybe be more like long, short, short, long. Check it out. Measure one slash 37. Changes in there, yeah. That 12, um, what you can do is you can grab your bow, then hold it like just like you're holding a, a cup or something, then stick your index out, and you can do 12. To get that nice open sound with your with with, with your fingers, you're gonna make sure your finger is all the way down, pressing the string all the way down against the, the fingerboard. Excuse me, so yeah. <laughs> Tada, because if you don't just kind of just dies off. Okay, you want to let it ring. Moving on. 12, sorry, excuse me, 22. You rest, 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 rest. Someone else plays there. And 22, that's when you come in. Piano and legato. Legato means smooth. So that means you need to be, yes, use your full bow. Oh, maybe not. So keep your bow changes nice and smooth. excuse me, 27 slash 28, um, leave your second finger down there. So at 26, you want to set up your second finger before you get there at 27. So 26, set, leave it, then you can move on, 30. And don't do what I did, don't play too high on the fingerboard because then when you move over to the to the G string your bow's gonna hit the body of the instrument. So you're gonna keep it in the in the highway here. In between the fingerboard and the bridge. So where's that? 30 and for that low G at 33 um, again, you're going to want to feel that, that pull on your low E string so that, so that you don't, um, so it doesn't skip around. Okay, where's that? Uh, 
33. Usually the E string is the one that's a little bit harder to get that grip. Okay, and 34. 34, going into, into 35, please follow the fingering there. It's gonna be in half position. You used to be in the first position up here on the tape, but half position is up way up here. Um, so your four is gonna be where your two would be. So, so open one, two. So your fourth finger is gonna go me. And then your first finger is gonna be way back up here by the nut. So this piece of wood right here is called a nut. So you wanna make sure you're way back there for that uh, low G and that low F. 34. Uh, what's that? There it is. Shift half position. Feel the bite on the string. Then one. Just nice and wide. Okay. Etc. Etc. Uh, Thirty-seven. Same thing as the beginning. Then we go back to the low F in half position at forty-eight. Pretty interesting. Oh, you kind of shifted there, sort of. Um, cause you just, that's just because it's really, really wide there. You're going from one to four in the half position. It's super wide. If you do it right, you're going to be able to see your open G string vibrate. You'll see it uh, moving. You probably can't see it in the video, but uh, when you're at home, be sure you, be sure you see that moving. Etc. Hope it helps. That's Hiawatha. See you in rehearsal.